I'm Amanda Smith here on Cromwell Field where USC is holding their 2012 Pro Day and a number of Trojans are looking to fulfill their NFL hopes. With the NFL draft just around the corner, some former USC football players hit the field once again to display their skills one last time before the big day. At the event, scouts and agents crowded the sidelines to catch a glimpse of the participants and evaluate their every move. The men of Troy were first judged on their overall speed and performance in the 40-yard dash. However, some lucky players, like Matt Khalil and Nick Perry, were given the privilege to skip this workout because of their outstanding results in the combine last month. Therefore, they only participated in position drills. Perry is a first-round prospect going into the draft, and even though he played as a defensive end at USC, many NFL teams are looking at him as a linebacker. But Perry says his workouts are preparing him for any position, and that his training will be focused on a few key aspects. I'm um, just working on my craft, you know, my technique, you know, hands, feet, um, getting off the ball, my approach, um, you know, working on my hips, you know, all those things that, you know, they can make me into a better football player at the end of the day. Another notable player of the day was Rhett Ellison. During the combine, Ellison mainly worked out with running backs. However, the former tight end played fullback for most of his senior season at USC and is looking to pursue his NFL career at that position. You know, for being in the running back group as a tight end, it was it was a lot of fun. Um, but you know, the t I wanted to improve on my times, the you know the forty and that kind of stuff here. So, but there, other than that, I thought the the actual position drills were a lot of fun, and I did okay. So you wanted to improve on some things. Did, were you able to accomplish that today? Yeah, I think so. I think my forty went down. I think everyone everything got a little faster. I jumped a little bit higher, so it was it it everything got a little bit better. But that kind of improvement doesn't come easily. Although players have been training specifically for these workouts for the past few months, some say the preparation has been years in the making. It actually started when I signed my letter of intent to come here. And uh, ever since then, like I put, I invested everything, sacrificed everything. And uh, the, the process was really tough, but it was all worth it. All worth it for the chance to play in the NFL, a dream many of these players have had for a lifetime. Um, it's a once in a lifetime opportunity and you know for for a lot of guys you know they don't they don't get the opportunity to do it so um, it's you know it's, it's a wonderful experience. With the conclusion of Pro Day players will meet with teams and continue their training then players will finally get the opportunity to make their dreams a reality during the draft which will take place from April 26th through the 28th. Wrapping up USC's Pro Day I'm Amanda Smith log on to uscfootball.com for more.